Welcome back to the channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. If you would like to find out more about the program, go to smarturl.it forward slash actuary. And if you'd like to make a tax deductible donation to support our students, go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem for today. Among a large group of patients recovering from shoulder injuries, it is found that 22% visit both a physical therapist and a chiropractor, whereas 12% visit neither of these. The probability that a patient visits a chiropractor exceeds by 0.14 the probability that a patient visits a physical therapist. Determine the probability that a randomly chosen member of this group visits a physical therapist. So remember, when you're dealing with these kind of basic probability problems, very important first step is to label the events and then write down what you have, what information you have, and then ask yourself what you were looking for. So here, let's say that C is the event that the patient visits a chiropractor. T is uh, the event that the patient visits a physical therapist then we are given that probability of intersection of C and T is 0.22. It's the probability that a patient visits both of them. And then the probability that the patient visits neither is the probability that the patient doesn't visit the chiropractor and doesn't uh, visit the therapist. So it's a probability of complement of C intersection with complement of T which is the same as the probability of the complement of the union of C and T, and it's 0.12. And we are also given that the probability of C is equal to probability of T plus 0.14. We are looking for probability of T in all this. So take a look at this probability of intersection of complements. As I said, it's the same as probability of the complement of the union. It's 0.12. That means that the probability of the union is 1 minus that, or 0.88. But probability of the union is probability of C plus probability of T minus probability of intersection. And now in this, we are given the probability of intersection, that's 0.22. And probability of C can be expressed in terms of probability of T. So once you plug in all that, this becomes an equation in which the only thing that is unknown is the probability of T, which is what we're looking for. So it becomes a simple linear equation. 0.88 is equal to two probabilities of T minus 0.08. So probability of T is 0.88 plus uh, 0.08 divided by 2, or 0.48, and that's answer D, and we are done. Please remember that this is copyrighted material, and past examination problems of the Society of Actuaries belong to the Society of Actuaries. They are reproduced with permission. The solution is mine. Well, good luck in your studies, and good luck on the test.